program came about because we were trying to get people out of their apartments to our community meetings once a month. It's hard to get the elderly to walk from building four to building three because they are simply afraid to come out their houses and get involved. If, if you were here during the time when there was school and there were no kids around, this place was really desolate. And they asked us to help them develop something to go on the wall. This is what we've come up with, you know, working with the school, with the kids in the high school. The artwork that we're doing right now should show everyone that all, all it is is that people just have to get together and stop the violence. It's really brought the community together, I feel like. It's given people a new sense of pride in this wall and this whole space here. My view of an ideal society would be one where everywhere you went, every building, you know, there was art on it. This is a good example of how art affects the world. Public art is a great way to connect kids with their community. You know, they, they get involved in um, their, with their neighbors, they take pride in their community. I think it gives our students the ability to know that they can make a difference, they can um, have an impact on their community. We have students who actually live in the Taylor Apartments, we have students who actually live in South Troy. It's kind of cool just to know that um, I had a part of something that I did knowing I lived there. When School One got involved, it just kind of blossomed from there. To see um, a lot of the personal touches that the kids have added, you know, not only um, just artistically with the paint, but um, as well as just their names. A lot of our kids who are in North Central who come from you no know, broken backgrounds and it's difficult for them to really understand how to express themselves and really get out um, what their feelings are. A lot of our kids don't like to speak. It teaches them how to um, you know, communicate with each other in different ways and it helps them to, when they're creative, they're peaceful. A lot of my kids aren't happy a lot, so when they do something as a group like this, they. They create this positive energy among each other. You see what this brings? It brings like kids that you would never expect to come. They come. I, I, this is my first time ever really painting something, so I think it's like focus. It's, it's something to get you out of like the drama because these streets nowadays are bad. It's amazing. It, it, I see these kids and they they just seem at peace here. Right now, I'm getting butterflies in my stomach because I'm so happy inside. talked to the kids early on about uh, what they wanted to, who they wanted to project on the wall. And the kids wanted, you know, they wanted people that they were studying and that's how we came across, you know, Barack Obama and Dr. Martin Luther King. It was their choice. All these people they're painting now were given their choice. I love Martin Luther King because when he was alive, that's what he fought for, for everyone to just come together. And that's what, that's what we're doing. Everyone's out here together just painting and having fun. He's like a hero, so I just, I've chose this picture. We have one student who lost their brother roughly um, nine months ago. We have dedicated, we have given him a slab off of the mural to, to allow him to dedicate that section to his brother. So finally you're able to see on a mural a child who didn't die, who wasn't a product of the environment, where he didn't die senselessly, but he died because of a medical condition. I ain't never used to like to paint, and now I like to paint. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I fell in love with painting. Instead of graffiti, just, something positive. just do this. It just calms me down. It makes me feel, feel good about this, the involvement of, of people who are part of a community who have kind of lost connection with the physical space and this kind of puts them right in touch with it again. I think everyone's just gonna come here and play and just, I don't know, get along. I think it just, it's really good. I think you guys did a great job. Art opens a lot of doors, and there's still a lot of doors that need to be opened, but um, you know, we're gonna keep, keep knocking on them, you know, I guess so. How important these kind of programs are for kids, because it saves them. It saves kids that have dropped out of school and they want to come back because they're gonna be a part of something fun and creative and amazing, so it does save them. You save one kid? How important is that? How important is one life? It's not every day you're just gonna walk down the block or under a bridge. You're gonna see Obama and Harriet Tubman. I think it's like it's really good for the community of Detroit and I would like to walk like walk down here when we're all finished or whatever and look and say, wow, I did this.